Hello, hello, hello! Happy Planning Sunday, Paper and Glam family! And if you are new, welcome to Paper and Glam. I'm so excited that you're here. We are going to have so much fun together. I just cannot wait. So today we're going to be playing with the June collection and in my Plan With Me videos, my goal is really to get you some really fun, motivational, creative ways to use your stickers this week in your planners. And, you know, hopefully you leave this uh, video feeling really inspired and motivated and just ready to have the best week. So today we are going to be going through the June collection just real, real quick because I did not get a walkthrough up. So we're going to flip through my sticker binder and then we're going to just June and then we are going to plan Junes. Without further ado, let's play with some stickers, shall we? All right, let's get this June party started. One of my favorite months, and this collection is always one of my favorites because it's really very summer themed. So this dashboard comes with every monthly kit, which is our signature flagship offering. It's just a fun, it's a fun just dashboard. I'll show you how I use it in my glam planner. I also like to use it in the front of my sticker binder to label each month. Of course, we've got our seasonal living list that is a freebie in each of the monthly kits. It's also free online as well. In the shop, I'll link it on the screen if you guys wanna click. And then we have our June memory keeping dashboards. I have two in here. We have our seasonal glam monthly. Here's the, the June kit itself. So we have the stickers page. We got all our weekend banners. And this is just meant to be a, enough stickers to get you through the month. There's really cute sunglasses day banners. Uh, these are our celebration stickers, which coordinate with the seasonal living list. And then we've got lots of fun page flags. We made a change to the page flags this month. They are now, well, we added some. So they're scalloped. How stinking cute are these scallop page flags? So original, we use our seasonal icons to check things off. Love them. I already dug into my kit a little bit. Here's the box stickers. We have Glam Summer, which comes in all of the June kits. It's also available separately, which is so fun. We have beach days, light, uh, light up. <laughs> blow up flamingos and all that good stuff. More glam summer stickers. How cute are these glasses that say summer? Let's see, I'm gonna zoom in. I just realized you guys can't see very well. Okay, and well, that may be a little too far. Okay, and let's see, here's our June headers. How cute are these headers? We'll play with them right now. More headers, we gotta keep it moving. It's gonna be a long video. Glitter headers, glam basics, all more basics, so fun. These are just our summer colors. So if it's after June, these absolutely, you know, of course, like they're just summer themed. Um, we, you know, I use each of the months when I'm designing it. They're, that's my inspiration. But of course, you know, these you can use anytime, like our summer basics. These are new. I always find myself running out of basics. So I've been coming up with some really fun new basics offerings that are just standalone by themselves. How beautiful are these full boxes? Got glitter basics, more full boxes, glitter flags. These are brand new. These are our H2O stickers. This is the June version. So if you guys want to track your water, this is enough to get you through a whole month. If you would like to track your water every day, there's one for each day. This was a request from the Paper and Glam Planning Group, and so I made that happen. Here's Habit Trackers. I have been loving these. We're going to talk about these very soon, but this is like the thing I was most excited about the, with the June collection. And then here's our Core Glam. Here's Glam About Town, Everyday Glam, Glam Home. Gym Glam and Glam Plans, those all come together. We've got Glam Reads, our summer reads, and Glam Office, our summer office. The colors are a little bit different here because these came out last year. Eventually we'll be changing the, the colors over for this next year, but you know, we used to do teal for June, but then I wanted to change it to a, a much more summer color scheme. A little, this, I was very inspired by Malibu Barbie when I changed, updated the color scheme, but they're still beautiful colors. And uh, this is from last year. All right, let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna deck out my monthly spread here with these super cute June headers. Uh, adorbs, right? I mean, that flamingo. You guys remember Clarence from last summer? Clarence the flamingo? You guys named her, I think. I think you did. Okay, nice and straight. Oh, yes. When I get something straight on camera, yes. All right, for the sake of time, I'm gonna put on my headers real quick. 
All right, so I got my date dots on, got my headers on. I used this summer sticker from Celebrations here in the empty space. I wish I had done it off center though, so it's not so like right centered under June, but that's all right, live and learn. And then I used my Seasonal Glam Monthly, these box stickers that come on the Seasonal Glam Monthly to highlight my most important days on my month. So I'm doing a beach day on the 15th, on the 16th, which would be fun. On the 15th, jam, oh my gosh, I can't talk, jam. Glam July ships, as you guys know who are subscribers, the 15th is when all of the kits are out. So after I mail all those kits, I'm gonna take a three day weekend. This is my birthday weekend. So I'm gonna do a birthday spa day. I should have done the pool stickers here. So I layered this beach day sticker here on top of this box sticker from the Seasonal Glam Monthly. And I'm wishing that I'd use the pool sticker over here because we're gonna do like a pool and spa day on the 18th, which is my birthday. It's also Father's Day. So Glam Mom and I are going to celebrate together. And that's always what we do. My birthday tends to land on Father's Day. And since Glam Mom is more than enough parent for me, we're gonna celebrate together. All right, next let's move on to the seasonal Glam Monthly. And I'm gonna just match up these uh, festivities with our seasonal living list. Okay, I got my seasonal celebrations here and next I'm going to pair them with their matching icons. And then let's see what else. I put the sunglasses banner underneath goals and to do's. I put some flags for the third is when like all the bills are due. And then the eighth is glam mail day. That's when the subscribers get billed and I can start shipping out your kits until they're all gone the 15th. All right, oh, and I put this little chair from Glam Summer here in this empty, empty box. All right, let's get some icons on here. Okay, for the sake of time, more upload time than anything, I went ahead and finished planning my month and we'll just walk through it together so this video doesn't take all day to upload like my last video. So um, I added the icon stickers next to the seasonal celebrations and I busted out my summer candles and my summer floral yesterday. We're filming Plan With Me June today. Tomorrow I'm gonna go on a Runyon Canyon hike. And what I have started to do is just to have like a little memory or something that I'm looking forward to each day because my monthly has kind of been neglecting it. And I'll show you May to show you what I mean. See how it's kind of boring and I like didn't fill it in. And I just want a record of my days more than anything. When I don't take time to write things down, it's like I don't even remember what happened. And that is just no way to live. So you can see I started to write down a memory each day and that's what I'm going to shoot for for June. And hopefully we can do a inside my planner and I can show you a completed full planner. All right, so, or full month rather. So on the right column here, my main goals is just to spend more time with you guys uh, with videos. They are, you know, time consuming to create, especially because I really want to make them just so worth your time. But I, I've been working on improving, improving there while, you know, keeping things moving in the shop and making sure I'm getting your orders out extremely fast. So anyway, I, that's what I did for my goals pages here. Of course, I have my weekly summary here from Glam Reads. And let's see what else. We got Best Friends Day, Ice Tea Day. Yeah, book club the last Thursday of the month. I hope you guys will join us. It You really will, will walk away. A, just so excited to read when you join us for book club. I know I always do and the gals always say the same. So that is the monthly. This is this coming, or this is this week. So I this is like what a completed spread looks like for me. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't know exactly what to talk through for you guys. I like to layer headers on top of our basic stickers. Um, yeah, I, I more use this for budgeting time and just like things I don't wanna forget, I like to put in here. I have made peace with the fact that no planner will be able to hold everything and that's why I have three planners, right? <laughs> I know you guys get me. So that is this coming week. How cute is this donut washi for donut day? So, so cute. My mom and I have been baking a lot. Oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about habit trackers. So how fun are these habit trackers? I absolutely love, love, love the way these are coming out. And I actually really like last week even better. So let me show you last week. This is like what, what I wanna do each week with my habit trackers. So this first one is God and Glam, really trying to make sure I'm keeping up in the God and Glam Bible study because I am preparing it for next year, right? Because we're all gonna do it together starting in November. So. I 
I am trying to be really dil diligent with that. It, it's planned for five days a week. So that way you guys can either take the weekends off or if you have a really busy week, you know, you can just get three days in during the week. So five days is actually good. That means I did all five days, which is perfect. And then I want to plan every day. I did that. I have a nice filled out week and then the gym my goal is five days I got four in last week but you know what I'll take it I used to do three and I felt like I wasn't really getting results but as soon as I upped it to five I usually shoot for five and I get four but you know uh, I will take four all right let's keep it keep it moving here all right oh the book of the month selections were so good this month I got two this is this coming week so I'm a huge Warriors fan, so I'm so excited for the finals, so I put that in. And I plan as I go, so I don't do a ton, like, going into the week. I think I'm going to leave off the washi. I feel like I, I kind of want to emulate Jen Boom style more, and I always say that, and then my, my weeks get really, really full. And I just want more white space in my planner, and just a little bit. Not, not like, a crazy amount, but, you know, I would like to keep make things a little simpler. So I think I'm going to leave off the washi, and also this gives me more room to write in this first part of the day what I am reading for Gun Glam like I did here and I actually turned out really cute last week oh I didn't show you guys my memory dashboard so this is my June memory dashboard that is coming along I fill it out as I go and of course my seasonal living list and if you want to see a completed one here is May and I'm gonna put a little picture right here. I just haven't gotten to it yet. So that's how it looks all done. We've talked a lot about that in the last few videos, so I don't wanna keep you too too long there. And let's see, let's see. I got distracted by that. Um, oh, I was gonna show you the cotton clam, how it looks, cause I, I was really happy with kind of having it be a little bit more linear. I really liked how that came out cause I really just want to figure out a way to make a, make a clean, cleaner look and one of the ways that we do that is by using consistent colors so we use the same 14 colors to create all things paper and glam so that way even if you have a really full really busy week or you're using stickers from any collection they always coordinate so this that's why we do it and the 12 colors are the 12 glam planner colors plus yellow and then we have kind of like a brown because you know we need we need brown here and there for when you are you know drinking coffee and whatnot and we're designing things that need need a little brown all right, so I'm gonna try a little bit of a more linear look. Let's see, let's see. I love to layer the celebrations on top of the basics. I think that looks so stinking cute. And yeah, more of the same throughout the rest of the week. I am excited to decorate for 4th of July. And it's funny, take your dog to work day. <laughs> we fell on a Saturday, but everything, every day is take your dog to work day. I don't know if you guys can hear Sunday, but she is giving herself a face wash right now. So <laughs> that's that. So let's see, I moved the summer vacation sticker to July because I'm actually taking this week off to celebrate my mom's 60th birthday. And then I I just did a, li a few things here leading up to July. We have five weekend banners in the July kit because we, uh, you know, because there's five weekends in July. So I'll, I'll leave that blank. And that, we got book club, of course, on Thursday. And I love how this came out on the uh, club night. It starts at starts at six for me, but you know, it's six specific. So it, it takes really to like gear up and kind of get ready. It takes this whole time. So I loved blocking this time off with a full box and then the tonight header and then the little book club, club blah, book club cover sticker from the book club planner kit. So that is my June. All right, that was Life With Me June. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you walked away with some new ideas for your planner. And if you did, I'd love to know in the comments or if you have any questions or just anything. I love, I love hearing from you guys. That's why I really do YouTube is to connect with you. And you know, before I had my shop, of course I did YouTube, you know, before there was really like a planner community because I was just really into all this stuff and I wanted some friends and like-minded women who were also really into planning. So that's still what it's all about for me. So I love hearing from you guys. Let's see in housekeeping news, uh, the July collection is gonna start shipping on Monday, so make sure you get your orders in, the sooner the better. Subscription is still open until it sells out. So subscription for July will be open until it sells out, and then we'll just roll right into August, and on and on it goes. If you are new, the subscription, it's really simple. It just, there's a, there's a kit every month, and subscribers are billed on the 8th of the month. After your initial subscription, everything 
you know, we need to make sure everything's good to go with your payment. So it's, it's billed immediately for your first subscription and after that it's the 8th. So if you subscribe today, it would be your next billing would be, uh, let's see, it would be July 8th for the August kit because you just did July. So yeah, I would love to send Glam Mail home to you every month. Uh, we have so much fun together in our community, both in the Season the Living group and the book club and, uh, you know, of course, our Bible study, Gone and Glam, we're gearing up there. And of course, more planning. So I'd love to keep hanging out with you along those same lines. Ooh, my nose is itching. Oh, sorry, guys. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Uh, in other news, so I made a few changes on Instagram. I really wanted to make Paper and Glam, the at Paper and Glam Instagram, a planning resource for you, something that you can use to plan your week. So I've been trying to post more layouts and really keep it, um, I'm not sure if you guys, there we go, <laughs> uh, can see, you know, really keep it uh, planning specific so that you, you can use it to plan. Like I said, I like to look at Jen Boom's uh, Instagram and I'll link I'll link these gals below and Sophia I love my morning coffee they use a lot of paper and glam and they're just such great supporters and so I don't know I love those resources and I really wanted to make something for you that is something you can plan along with so that's the at paper and glam Instagram and if you came for the paper but you stayed for the glam and you know you love all the lifestyle stuff we do too because we're all about being well-rounded women here right women who read and are informed citizens and you know we just want to live well on the whole so that's where the glam part comes in with all the seasonal living stuff and all that fun stuff I moved it over to a personal Instagram lisamarielandreth.com or .com at lisamarielandreth and I'll put it on the screen here for you as well so you can go ahead and and just click click away on both of those and that, that's the story there. Let's see, I think that's about it. I'm really excited to unveil the July collection for you guys and start sending it home next week. Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with me and just thank you for everything. I really, really appreciate you and the time that you spend with me and how supportive and encouraging of a community you are. It's a rare gift and I, can't, I could not be more grateful. So thank you guys for that and I will see you again soon. Remember to subscribe for more Paper and Glam and give this video a thumbs up if we had fun together today. All right, see you next time.